Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a Pia Mia inspired makeup tutorial. I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done. She has a slightly fuller brow than me, so I used my Soap and Glory Brow Archery in hot chocolate. Then I am prepping my skin with my MAC Prep and Prime Spray. And I don't know if I used too much, but it just wasn't soaking into my skin. So I did end up rubbing it into my skin, but it's just to hydrate my skin in preparation for my foundation. From the photo, she looked as if she had a really gorgeous like skin glow. So I'm using my Soap and Glory Radiance Boosting Serum just to give that glow to my skin underneath my foundation. For my foundation, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 6.5 and I'm buffing it into my skin with a Real Techniques uh, multitask brush. Please appreciate that my neck is slightly darker than my face just because of fake tan and I wash my face and exfoliate my face a lot more than my neck so I do have to colour match but hopefully you guys can understand that. So I've already prepped my eyes using my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and I'm just going to go in and highlight my inner corner with Gesso by MAC as well which is basically just a matte white eyeshadow so you can use anything for this. She had a really nice inner corner highlight but she didn't so much have a brow bone highlight which I normally would do so as it's an inspired look I am not highlighting my brow bone but to buff into my crease I am using a mixture of texture and bamboo by MAC as well basically just a really light soft brown shade because uh, she didn't have a huge amount going on in her eyes so we just want to add a bit of definition and warmth from the photo you can see she had an incredibly shimmery shadow on her lid so I am using this from Astralis which is their gold gaga I think cream eyeshadow uh, makeup revolution do one if you're from the UK in the shade rose gold which I have as well and it is just as pretty I just decided to use this one and to up the intensity of the shimmer I'm adding this pigment from Bella Pierre cosmetics in the shade champagne and just pressing it lightly on the top Slightly deep in the crease, I'm using Swiss Chocolate from MAC on my Sigma E25 brush. I will leave a link to where I get my brushes down below and a discount code for you guys with Sigma. Um, you can see I'm being really soft and gentle with the intensity of the shadow and going back in with an even fluffier brush. I think this is the Sigma E35 to really buff it out so all the shadows are seamlessly blended. Then I'm using my Black Track Fluid Line from MAC and this Bedellium, oh it's Bedellium or Dellium Tools brush to do my liner. She really didn't have a wing and it was quite thick and not so much messy but I wasn't being too careful with it which is why I used a thicker brush and just to do a simple line across the lid. Then I'm going in with my MAC In Extreme Dimension eyeshadow, eyeshadow? Mascara just to add a bit of volume to my lashes. She had extremely voluminous lashes so the mascara I'm putting underneath my lashes is just as voluminous and I'm using these ones which are the Vegas Nay and Eyelure collaboration. I will leave the name of the lashes down below but they just add the kind of drama she kind of had going on. Then I'm using my Urban Decay Weightless Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm and buffing it out with this Luxie brush. I like to use a small brush to buff up my concealer recently because it really allows me to get into all the little places and up underneath my lash line. To set that in place, I am using the yellow shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I've recently picked this up and I am in love with it already. I also use the middle brown shade to contour with, as you will soon see, but they are so pigmented and they add just the amount of, just the right amount of product and it's not too cakey or too intense color wise. But I'm using a duo fiber brush to contour because she didn't have a strong contour, but she did have a bit of warmth to her cheek. Then I was so excited about this. I am highlighting with the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration Champagne Pop. Oh my god, guys, this is the best highlighter I have ever had the opportunity to wear. It's so creamy, 
so pigmented and just looks incredible on the skin. I definitely recommend you getting it if it's still in stock. Now to finish off the eyes, from the picture I'm going off, she had a really warm eyeshadow underneath. So I am mixing Texture and Rule by MAC together on just a pencil brush and just buffing it in lightly underneath my eye. It looked as if she had something in her waterline, so I am going in with the Teddy Eye Cold from MAC, which is essentially just a really dark brown shade, and then using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara to really define my lower lashes, because she has the most amazing bottom lashes. Now onto the lips, which is probably the main feature. The caption of the photo said, um, like, I really love brown lip liner, okay, or something. But I wanted to use a liquid lipstick, and this is Vamp by Anastasia Beverly Hills, because it has the like, right amount of brown and red to it, which is flattering on my skin tone. But Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC is more of a brown if that's the kind of look you want to go for. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. It's kind of a fall slash winter appropriate look or whatever you want it to be. I really like doing inspired looks, so let me know if there's anyone you specifically like me to recreate below or any other video suggestions. All the information is in the description bar as always. So until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.